Well, once somebody tells you uh, you got about a 25% chance to live two years, uh, it doesn't take long to get your priorities straight. I mean, you, you figure out real quick what's really important and what's not. And it's, it's frankly, it's fairly liberating. Because then you can think, I can do whatever I want to. What's the worst thing can happen? Besides dying from ovarian cancer. I always say I'm very practical, and I thought if I w wasted all my time worrying, then what time I may have left would not be quality time. So I just decided that I would try not to think about it. And I would keep busy, and I would do things that were positive and help other people, and that, would, that was a better way to go. It's very important to have uh, counseling or genetic counseling along with genetic testing because there are a lot of uh, ramifications and extenuating circumstances that go along with, uh, with the diagnosis of a, a genetic mutation. I had BRCA1 or 2, I had BRCA2. Uh, how you handle that makes a big difference to a lot of people. It was, it was a really big decision for me, but I decided to have a prophylactic double mastectomy with reconstruction. When my husband, uh, late husband, was dying with lung cancer, uh, I was invited to join a support group, but I thought, I don't need that. I'm a private person. Um, my children weren't in, didn't seem to be interested, so I thought, that that's not for me. But then after I had ovarian cancer, I read that, um, that you had a better chance if you, if you were in support groups, that the statistics were better. Um, so I thought, well, I'll go to a support group, and if it's a bunch of gloom and doom, I don't have to go back, but I'll go see what it's all about. And I did, and I never laughed so much in my life. It was, it, it, when somebody's in the same boat you're in, it's, it's really easy to talk to them, and we had a lot of, lot of good times, and the strongest, most courageous women I've ever met in my life. And you can, you can talk about things to, to other survivors that, that you can't talk about to your family. I know one woman said one time, I am so tired of smiling. Uh, every time I don't smile, my husband gets in a panic and my children get in a panic. But I just am so glad to get over here and, you know, let my hair, what hair I've got left, let my hair down or take my hat off and um, just talk with people I can talk to and say, yes, I'm afraid, yes, I'm scared, yes, I'm, you know, this is, this is the pits. I'm Ginger Ackerman Smith, I'm 64 years old, and I'm an ovarian cancer survivor.